Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is on acne and it's a three part video really and the first part is what I call the most important step in dealing with acne and acne. So this is what this video is about. Now, I know that if you've watched my videos before, you'll understand that acne is something very close to my heart, which I had when I was 20. And it was a deeply upsetting experience to say the least. 80% um, at least of my cheeks were completely covered in acne. And it was the kind of acne that never came to a head. It was just red and sore and always under the skin. It was awful. So this video is gonna be talking about the number one thing you should be doing for your acne in order to get rid of it. When I started this regime, I started it on the Tuesday and by the Saturday, I was around about 85 to 95% clear on my face. It didn't deal with the red marks that were left from the spots, but that's what time is for. But it will get rid of and stop future breakouts. The number one product you should be using is you need to be disinfecting your skin. It's very important and don't disinfect by spot disinfecting. I've got a spot there, so I'll use a bit there, or I've got one here, so I'll just dab it on. You want to disinfect the entire areas that break out and you want to use benzoyl peroxide. So make a note. Now I'll show you the products that I use, but you can go out and ask in the pharmacy or wherever you are and you will be able to find benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide comes in 2.5, five and 10%. There is a tendency to want to rush out and get the 10% because it's stronger, but I recommend you start with 2.5 and work up. So the products that I use um, are by Paula's Choice and they are the 2.5 and the 5% benzoyl peroxide. This is 2.5 and this is five. Now with benzoyl peroxide, it has a tendency to dry out the skin very, very quickly. And the regime that I'm gonna be talking to you about now will dry out your skin incredibly. So what I want you to do is find the areas on your face that are breaking out and apply benzoyl peroxide to them twice a day. You want to apply enough benzoyl peroxide. So as a rule of thumb, this is my pointer finger. You want to be applying that much product at least to the areas that are breaking out. So the, the real goal here is to make sure that you are applying at least that amount, at least that amount, sorry. And you need to be consistent with it. Apply it twice a day to all of those areas. Now, over the next day or two, your skin is gonna to start to change and it's gonna get very, 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 very dry. And it's gonna become red. This is very normal because you're using a lot of benzoyl peroxide, but that amount will help you 100% in stopping the acne from continuously forming and get rid of the acne that is already there. The disinfecting step of the skin is the number one priority when dealing with acne. So just this step alone will help you to recover your skin properly, I absolutely promise. In the next video, I'll be talking you through steps two and three that can really help you to not only once the acne is controlled to keep it that way, but also to keep your skin clear and healthy for the future, which is what I've done. I have a little spot here today, and that is it. I have not been breaking out since I was 22, and I am now 36. So I've been using it consistently. I no longer use the same amount, but I still use the same regime. So thanks for watching. Don't forget benzoyl peroxide, you can find it anywhere, but these are the two I recommend because they are softer to the skin. They are less irritating. They are filled with more good ingredients that can help your skin recover. So this is the products that I recommend, but just if you can't get them, then just go to the pharmacy and ask for 2.5, five or 10% benzoyl peroxide. Good luck and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much, bye-bye.